What's up guys, John here from Titan and I'm back with another health and fitness tip for you guys. That's right, so I'm trying to bring you guys some awesome fitness and health tricks that will help you guys obtain your goal, whatever it may be. There's a lot of goals out there, so I'll have more tips for you guys in the future, so stay tuned to that. But in the meantime, let's talk about today, right now, for you guys. So let's talk about losing weight, right? And there's a lot of different things to lose weight, but we need to talk about some core things to do to lose weight. Now, I'm sure you've heard these things over and over and over again, but I'm still gonna say them to you because you've gotta really ingrain them into your mind so you get a hold of it, wrap your hands around it, and say, I'm going to do this and I have the necessary tools to achieve what I'm trying to do here. So let's talk about it. So, when we wanna do weight loss, we gotta think about a couple different aspects here. Obviously, we gotta think about nutrition. It's a part of it, okay? What you're eating, you are what you eat. Remember that, okay? So look at all the labels, pick some good food sources, um, you know, people are going to hit me like, what should I eat? We'll talk about the whole different segment, but today let's talk about some of the main things. So obviously nutrition plan, find something that works for you, right? If you don't know, you can sort out a professional and they're going to help you out. Two, exercise program. It's essential, right? And when we talk about exercise programs, when people talk about losing weight, they only think about like getting on a treadmill or getting on an elliptical. I have to do a whole bunch of cardiovascular and I got to run like a little mouse on a wheel. It's not true. That's not true at all. You can make this fun. You can make this more appeasing to you and you can get a lot more out of just achieving weight loss, right? Let's talk about that. So when we talk about weight loss and different exercises for it, obviously cardiovascular is going to be in there. You need to have cardiovascular activity. You need to raise the, your heart rate. You need to burn calories. That's going to be you, yes, doing some cardiovascular activity. And this can be a lot of different things. It just doesn't have to be running on a treadmill. You can do a lot of different things. You can Google this and look up a ton of different cardiovascular exercises because it would take me too long to even mention on this video all the different things that you could possibly do. So look into that. Along with that is weightlifting. You have to weight train on some sort of level. So if you've had a bad car accident and your right leg is not as good as your left leg or something is going on there, you can still exercise. You just gotta find some different techniques that are gonna work best for you, right? But let's say you're okay. Everything's fine there. You need to really think about weight training. And this is the reason why I say this. When we talk about weight loss, we want to lose weight, right? Well, we know this, the more muscle you have in your body, the more fat you're gonna burn every single day and every single minute in that day. So we need to have some sort of muscle in there. When you do cardiovascular activity, when you look at a runner, most runners out there, they're real lean. There's not a whole bunch of muscle mass on them. And you don't have to be a bodybuilder. I'm not talking about that but you definitely want to look at building some muscle because this muscle will burn fat right along with the cardiovascular activity that you're doing and burning more fat. Your metabolism will be through the roof and you'll be happy and you'll be getting results day in and day out, I promise. After that, sleep. Sleep is essential, okay? Getting in good sleep patterns and routines is gonna be essential for not just weight loss, but for your overall health, that's right, your general health, the way that you feel every single day of your life ultimately comes from a little bit of sleep. We need sleep. Our bodies need to recharge. If you have an electric car, you're possibly thinking about an electric car, they need to charge too, right? Or it's not gonna run. That's exactly what's happening to you. And when we get sleep deprivation or we're not getting enough rest, our body is not working at optimal levels and all the different functions in it are not gonna work that good either. So think about sleep too as well. After that, we need some recovery. Think about recovery, guys, because you know, we want to go, go, go. I want to train seven days a week, two hours a day, two a days. That's great, right? But your body does need a little bit of downtime to recover. And you need to do the right things for recovery. Day in and day out. That's getting enough water, getting enough nutrients, whatever it may be. Your macros, carbohydrates, your proteins, your fats. And you need to make sure these are all correct. If you don't know those, trust me, you can get really amateur about it and go seasonal and get really, really uh, in-depth about it later on but start somewhere where you can get a grasp on things and it's very easy for you to assume like, all right, I can take this or I can do this and this is what I need to eat, right? So these things, especially recovery, sleep is a part of recovery, but giving yourself enough downtime so your muscles rebuild and rejuvenate themselves and rebuild stronger than when you previously had them before. That's what it's all about. So guys, these are the pillars, tips and tricks for you guys. I know you probably hear them a lot. You're like, man, I hear this all the time. But really, what can I dial in? That's where some of the Titan Medical Center therapies can help you guys out. And listen, if you're doing everything right, you're saying, John, I've hit every single thing that you said, and I haven't lost weight, I'm gaining weight. This is just not going like it should be. Well, we might need to reassess some of the things in a different program, 
Or you might need to look at some, maybe some blood work and look at where your hormones are at, where these different levels are at in the body. Make sure they're optimal so your body can run and perform like it's supposed to. So guys, if you need help in this, we're here for you. But I want to give you some different things that you guys can do at home, right? Where you can look at these different things and say, am I doing every single pillar that I need to? The four pillars of getting a healthy lifestyle and getting in those habits. And habits are the most important thing. And that's the next video I'm going to talk about for you guys. So, you guys like this tip and trick? I hope you guys did. Make sure you guys are tuning in for the next one. And guys, as always, check out the med website, TitanMedicalCenter.com. If you want to check out some different videos that I've done, go over to YouTube. Just type in Titan Medical Center. You'll see all the great, good content, videos, explain some of the therapies, and all the other good stuff that come along with it. And if you want help with the therapies itself, you want to become a patient, you want some help in your journey of health, weight loss, or fitness, call or text us today, 727-389-3220. And guys, stay tuned for the next health tip and trick from me, John, CEO of Titan Medical Center. See you guys. Hi, I'm Jessica and I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. And I wanted to tell you today about one of our healing peptides, BPC-157. And I can tell you from personal experience that this therapy works. It had me back in the gym pain-free in a couple months. BPC-157 has collagen boosters, which help with the repair and maintenance of your muscles, ligaments, and tendons. It also helps to downregulate cytokines and akin sequestrins, which play a role in the inflammatory process in the body. And then it also helps with angiogenesis, which is the growth of new blood vessels to really promote that blood flow and healing to the tissues. So if you've had a recent injury, tendonitis, have just a nagging pain somewhere, BPC-157 is the peptide for you. Getting back into the gym faster, pain-free, and having a better quality of life you want to try this therapy. If you want more information, call and text us at 727-389-3220 or visit our website, titanmedicalcenter.com. Are you going to get labs done soon? Well, if you are, I've got some great tips, tricks, and information that's going to help you get the best possible lab results and make sure that you don't get skewed or wrong results because this can cause you problems in the future. So we're going to break down some of these tips, tricks, and information for you. One, make sure that you're hydrated. You wanna make sure you get proper hydration before you go in and do blood testing. Because if not, dehydration can cause kidney functions or levels to possibly look lower than what they are. You also don't wanna work out strenuous the day before you go and get your blood work done. The reason is, is because this could affect other things in your blood work. As a male, it could affect prostate, it could affect EGFR, which are kidney functions, and other things in the body. So make sure you just give it a day's rest. I know you guys like to train every day and every hour, but at that point, give yourself a rest so you can get proper results on your blood panels. The next thing, if you have a glucose test or a cholesterol test on there, you need to fast at least 12 hours before your blood test. Now, they say you can usually drink some water, but do not eat any foods or anything that's sugary drinks or anything like that, because this could affect your fasting glucose level, and it can affect your cholesterol levels like your LDL or HDL. And if these things are off, maybe a general practitioner or a doctor is looking at it, might say, oh, you might have some things wrong with you. You might need some other medications because you didn't follow some of these different things for your lab test. It's really, really easy to get these lab tests done, especially through Titan Medical Center. We can set you up nationwide for blood panels, in-depth blood panels, not, not just to tell us about the liver and the kidneys and the blood cell counts, but hormones, STD testing, food sensitivity, allergy testing, and much, much more. And we will give you the guidelines and the directions to make sure you get the best possible results. So don't delay, contact us at Titan Medical Center today. Call or text 727-389-3220 to get your blood panels checked. And if you don't go through us, make sure you're following my tips, tricks, and information so you get the best possible lab results that aren't skewed. I'm John from Titan Medical Center, and I appreciate you guys, and I'll be back with more tips, tricks, and information to help you benefit your health. What's up guys, John here for another Titan Family Movie Review just for you. Tonight it was Ant-Man, Wasp, Quantumania. And man, it was a hell of a journey through this movie. I'll tell you what, all the visuals and all the great characters that were involved, 
it was a spectacular movie all the way through and through. I don't think the best that Marvel's produced, but it was definitely on a higher rating scale than any of the other movies that I've seen. And it's definitely beat out some of the other comic book movies that I've seen in the past as well. So what did you think about it? I thought it was good. You know, I, I, I thought that it was really good. Not, not obviously not Iron Man, but it was definitely better than I thought would be for an Ant-Man movie. What about you? It was decent. Decent? Ant-Man's legit kicks ass. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? A lot of people think that Ant-Man is the worst adventure out there. And they've got their favorites like Iron Man or Captain America. Hey, listen, I'm in that boat too. But Ant-Man definitely came through in this movie, kicked ass, like Eric said. And Wasp came through too as well. I think you guys are going to enjoy some of the other villains that are in this movie. Um, obviously, you're going to see Kang in the, in the, you know, the previews and all that. But there are some other surprises out there that I think you guys are going to enjoy. So for me and this rating, I'm going to give it out of five stars, probably about a 4.7. It was really, really good. Maybe a 4.5. Maybe I'm giving it a little bit too much. Uh, what about you? Um, I'm going to go with a 3.9. Yeah, I think a 3.9. It's it, it wasn't it wasn't the best, but it definitely it had some visuals that kept me really intact to the movie. Yeah, really engaged. A 2.8. All right, what about you? Uh, 4.0 for me. 4.0. 4.0. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the movie? Favorite part of the movie was uh, Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. <laughs> Michael Douglas legit. I mean, he's got to be what in his late 80s or some somewhere near that. I mean, the guys. He, he definitely looks good and he's definitely acted, so he's got all his marbles. I mean, you can tell that in yeah. the movie, so it was really, really good. It's just broccoli for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some, definitely some different vibes you're going to catch from some different franchises in this movie, I think. So Marvel properties, I think, were a little mixed over in this. And you guys will see what I'm talking about when you guys see the movie. So go enjoy this weekend, Ant-Man, Wasp, Quantumania, or this week, whenever you guys can. You guys will enjoy it with you, your family just go out and see it and make sure that you see some of the Marvel properties beforehand like Loki or Endgame so you guys are caught up on some of the little tidbits you guys will see in this movie. Alright guys, I'm John from Titan with the Titan family here. My best friend Eric's in town. So we had to go see the movies. Classic. Sasha's here. What's up Sasha? So guys, enjoy and we'll be back with some more Titan family movie reviews just for you guys and some great kick-ass movies to enjoy. So guys, have a great night and enjoy the movie. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully excite, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new level, right? Of happiness and solitude, or solidarity and all these good things that come with relationships. <laughs> So uh, this week, you know, we've got a great topic for you guys. And maybe if you guys have been in a relationship for a while, or even if you're single, you might have asked yourself this question. <laughs> and, you know, couples usually ask themselves this question if they've been together for a long, long time, or, you know, as you go on through life. And the question is, <laughs> are we getting old? I actually asked that question the other night. I did. I, I'm gonna, I'll, t I'll take responsibility for this episode. Yeah, so, I, you know, I mean, it was a good question, right? <laughs> and of course, when I get asked this question from my wife in bed, you know, I'm like, oh, great. I'm like, what am I not doing here? Because, you know, she's like, oh, we're getting old. What does that mean? <laughs> he asked me that, too. He's like, you know, what, what do you mean by, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I was like, what do you mean, are we getting old? I'm I mean, like, oh, no, I'm like, you know, I think we're, like, tired and stuff. <laughs> And remember, we got all the good stuff to keep us going. So just imagine, we have all the good stuff. We must be really tired. I don't think it's just being tired, busy. though. I think it's being busy. You know, busy. I think being busy is what you know can wear somebody out. And obviously, you know, having a healthy lifestyle and kind of what we do and what we preach out there, you know, sleep is a part of a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And it's necessary. It's necessary to function. Yeah. Just you know, on a minimal level, but right. to, to to function on an optimal level. You need to have all these things working for you, whether it's nutrition, whether it's your activity level, and it's sleeping, right? So I always, you know, especially lately, I've been taking it as a, a, a 
put it in as a priority to get at least six hours of sleep and you should be getting seven to eight hours of sleep yeah. and sometimes we only get five hours of sleep and tree sometimes on sundays only gets four or three hours of sleep so it's not good right but you know as going back to the question are we getting old yet you know sometimes this falls in line with couples that have been together for a long long time and you know as you go on you know what you preach out there to be successful is to be consistent right consistently doing the right things over and over to create a good result and whether that's, you know, that's driving a car or that's, you know, doing good at your job or, or whatever it may be, you're doing consistent things or even getting a healthy lifestyle, right? You're making sure you go to the gym every day, you're making sure you're eating every day, you're sleeping properly every day, and you get into that habit and you get into that routine. And you want to stay in that routine most of the time, but get in a routine with your relationship. So that means that both you guys go to work, you guys come home, you guys make dinner, you guys hang out for a little bit and then you go to bed. It's the exact same routine over and over and over. Yeah. And I guess that can get boring too. That's why, you know, being on a routine, I would say that's the best thing to get to success is being in a consistent, positive routine. But sometimes you gotta break that routine up yeah. for your relationship. That means like, listen, mm. every day, you know, you go to work, you guys come home, you guys cook dinner, you guys go to bed, right? Well you know, throw in a date night in there. And that's usually what our Thursdays are. Yeah. Like we're going to the movie theaters, that's we're going to nice. see a new movie. Yeah. You know, we did this all the way up until the, the pandemic happened. Right. And when that shut down movie theaters for a while, or it was limited and all that, no movies were coming out. Couldn't go to the movie theaters because you just couldn't, right? There was nothing to see or we weren't allowed. they were shut down or <laughs> whatever it was. So that kind of ended it for us for like, what, one and a half I years? Think, yeah, I remember going to AMC and it was literally like, it was like a movie where there was like little, like little hay things rolling around. And like, there was literally like two, <laughs> Tumbleweeds. there was like two employees, one like by the register and one checking the tickets. And I'm like, wow, this is really weird. Yeah. It was really weird. Nobody, nobody else was there. It was just us at AMC 24. It was great. Yeah. Actually, it was nice. You know, so, I mean, this are, these are different things you need to do, and whether it's during the weekends, too, as well. And same with us, right? So the weekends have consisted of baseball, right? Weekdays of baseball, coming baseball out of my too. ears. I keep telling them, uh, I'm know? like, all oh, these baseballs, you know, it's baseball. So it's kind of hard to get out on our weekends because sometimes we got to get out, like, you know, we have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to a Sunday game or, or uh, a tournament. So you don't really have time to like go out the night before, or if you do, you're going to be paying for the next day and then that's going to roll into your week. So you got to start playing around these things, you know, to get out of the routine of being old and then trying new things too as well. Now you don't have to go skydiving out of planes or anything, <laughs> but you know, do something that, you know, revitalizes your youth, right? Whether it's, you know, playing video games you know, together because there's girls and guys that do that or you guys go miniature pup pup golfing or you guys go to a trampoline place or whatever it may be. Something that brings you young to heart. You can go to the state fair and go do some rides, play some games together, eat some cotton candy. This things could happen. Um, you know, there's, there's a wide variety of different things that you can do. You can go back to past hobbies that brought you back to your childhood. Mine's comic books or shoes or whatever it may be. And you guys can kind of share that. Maybe you have the you know, same interest or whatever. Um, you know, these are different things that I would try to do or what I'm going to try to do or what I try to do to make things, you know, so not seem like we're old, right? Um, because I don't think we're old at this point, even though I'm going to turn 42 tomorrow or yeah. I'm going to turn Happy 42. Yeah, happy birthday, John. Sunday, yeah. Happy birthday, so, John. So, uh, at that point, you know, I guess I'm getting older, but I feel young at heart, you know, to a certain degree where I do feel old. Um, compared to some of my employees where they might be 21 years old <laughs> and I hear their birth date. I'm like, oh my God. I he's like, wait a minute. Like, he's like, oh, I didn't graduate high school. <laughs> I was like, you were, you were just born. And I graduated high school and you were born. I'm like, uh oh, this isn't too good, right? Um, but, you know, everything else wise, I mean, I look around and you should never compare yourselves to the, you know, the people that are surrounding you. So if you say, I look good for 40 years old, you shouldn't do that. Or I look good compared to this person, you shouldn't do that. You should just compare yourself to yourself, right? And do these things to make yourself feel good. And, you know, definitely working out, taking Titan therapies can help you feel younger all the way around. And sometimes to feel younger, we need to feel energy. Um, that is a big one because we were talking about, you know, you might feel tired in bed and you say, hey, listen, um, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm getting old because I'm tired and I go to bed at like 10 or 11 o'clock, even though right now, even us to this day, we don't go to bed to like midnight probably, right? Yeah, well, I mean, that still is like a reach, you know, because it's like by, by time baseball practice is over and then we get everything home and dinner and Peter's taking a shower and the dogs and 
this extra dog and we got all kinds of things going on. You know, by the time we actually like sit down in the bed, it's literally like 10 30 or 11. And then, yeah. you know, you really can't like shut it down really, you know, like by the time I get my pajamas, like I wash my face and do all these things. It's like 12 o'clock, you yeah. know, and you start looking at the time like, oh my goodness, I got to get up in like X amount of time. So yeah, I felt like, you know, I think I might have asked that question and like maybe um, like rep- like he was saying, like it's very repetitive, you know, like the day, I feel like, you know, I, some days it's been like this for a little bit, especially with the new dog. I feel like we have a mini new baby, mm-hmm. you know, and John's done such a great job at taking care of this dog while I'm taking care of, you know, 15 other babies at, at work, right? Because I have children. We have 15 other kids kids and they're called Titan women babies. So, you know, I didn't ask for these children, but they're here and this is what I have to do. But regardless, you know, it's tiring, right? It's tiring. And the baseball, I mean, where he's on two different teams. So it's just, it's literally just pop, 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 pop. And I just, I don't, I do, I feel like robotic to some degree, mm-hmm. you know, and it was like very repetitive and it's just like boop, 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 boop. And all I'm like, at that point, I feel like he's kind of on the same page. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but you're like, all I want to do is sleep right now. Like, yeah. I don't even want to do nothing. I don't, I don't want to watch TV. I want to watch 90 Day Fiance. I literally didn't get to see it until three days after I normally watch it because I was working. Like, so much work, so many baseballs and dogs and lots of other things, right? And, of course, I want to spend, time, you know, quality time yeah. with my husband. You know, like, that's very important to me. Like, somewhere in there, we can make the time. We yeah. will make the time. Yeah, of course. You know, it'll never be enough time because, I mean... We're we're together all the time and I still feel like we're not together. Like I get to see his face, but I don't get to talk to him about like, you know, fun, cool things or, you know, what's going on in the world today or whatever. I get to talk in like one sentence. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. All right. This is me. You know, so it's, yeah. And you feel, you know, start to feel a little tapped out, I guess. So you do want to keep it young and vibrant and do things that, you know, is fun. You know, like, Throw some new things in there. You yeah. know, I mean, you know, whether it's a bowling league or maybe a softball league or whatever it is. Or, that's just being active. Like I said, you can do a million and one things out there together, you know, just cutting out some of the time of the day or certain days of the week. We have an hour, maybe two hours where you guys can spend this time together, enjoy each other and, um, you know, feel like you're doing new things because doing new things will make you feel young, right? Because when we're young, we start, you know, doing things. And when we start doing things, we start doing new things, right? And when I say, I, I guess I'm confusing you, but... <laughs> What I mean by that is is that when we're young, we are not educated about everything that's around us and what we can do. And we start exploring and we're curious about these different things and we start doing these different things because we're curious. And at that point, we might start liking some of these different things or not liking some of these different things. Um, and that could be with like foods or like, you know, your different activities, your hobbies, whatever it is. I think it's hard too, and you can correct me again if I'm wrong, but it's hard too, right? Because we're dealing with me and him are truly the same people, right? We're two of the same, almost the same exact people, except we have different personalities as far as a few different levels of like, who's nicer, who's meaner, you know, he's more patient, I'm less patient, etc. So, you know, we're very similar. So we have very similar minds, right? So I feel like we're constantly on the rock, like entrepreneurial minds are constantly going, right? They never shut down. So even at like, 11 or 12 o'clock at night, you might still be thinking about something else. Like, oh, you know what? Maybe we got this going on. It's just, it's, and you can't stop it. Like it's just, you can't turn it off. It's very hard. But I think somewhere in there, you're going to have to like force yourself to do it. But you have to be like, you have to be aware of like what's going on Mm -hmm. and not just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. Because eventually you'll get to a point where you're like, how do we get here? That's what's going to happen, right? So you don't want that to happen. So if this is where you stop and you're like, okay, wait, let's not get there and let's make sure we stay here because this is a happy place for us, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I mean, it's a happy place and you want to do that. If you catch yourself feeling like things are being repetitive over and over and over, and listen, some things are. You're going to go to work every day. <laughs> you got to work. Okay? You're going to sleep every day. You're yeah. going to eat dinner every day. You got to eat. Um, these are things that you need to keep in your schedule, right? You're, they're going to be repetitive. And some of these things you want to be repetitive because you want to be in a positive, healthy lifestyle. And these are things that are part of it. Mm-hmm. But there's places in the day or times in the day where you can cut out some of that chunk 
and then give it to your partner. Now, there's people out there that don't have kids. So you guys have you guys have no <laughs> excuse you have whatsoever. No excuse. Dogs can be put in the kennel yeah. or do something. They could be put in a little pen. Yes. You guys can go have a little fun. You know, kids, they're running up in the room and yep. all kinds of fun stuff. Yep, yep, Ask yep. about homework. Where's yep. my dinner? Yep. What are you doing? Yep. You don't love me. Well, come, come, come play video games. Yeah. I, I want to play. I want to be versed you in Mortal Kombat. Get and over come outside, here. throw a ball. You know. Yeah. I mean, you're not. It doesn't stop. Yeah. And we only have one kid. Yeah. You know. So, I mean, yeah. that's enough. So you know, you know, but you know, God bless those parents out there that have multiple bless kids, your three, hearts. four kids. I mean, because they're dealing with a lot, man. Bless. And you know, it, it does. You know, sometimes you know the weight bearing of that is you know it's tired. hard. You know, it it's, it's hard. And, you know, people get down a little bit about that because that's all they're doing. They feel like, oh, this is all that I, I'm here to do. Well, it's not. I mean, at that point, but you got to have the responsibilities and you want to make sure your kids grow up good, too, as well. So, you know, that's something you're putting in place and that's dedication and sacrifice, too, as well. So that's going to come along with life if you want to be successful and you want to have a great family. Um, you're going to have to do that. There's some people out there that they just disregard their kids. And they go out yeah. and do these things no matter what. They don't care what their kid's doing, who they're seeing, what they're eating, and just care about, oh, they're alive, I'm okay. But, you know, at that point, I'm just going to go do what I want. Mm -hmm. I see multiple girls do this, guys do this, um, couples do this too as well. Or uh, so-and-so will take care of them, I'm out of here. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's just, you know, that, that's, you can't do that either. So me and John are trying to find this happy, I mean, because we're, you know, we're, we're perfectionists. And we're very loving individuals. Like, so we love everybody. Not, I'm just kidding. Not really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I take that back. I don't love everybody. But the people I do love, I love hard. Yeah. I, let's put it that way, right? Yeah. And it's a lot of love to give. It's yeah. constant love and care and, you know, loyalty. And, and it's it's constant. It, it, it's, it's a lot of work, you know, especially when you're, you. I mean, ultimately, we're providing for 15 other people, yeah. right? Making sure they're okay, too. So... It's tough, but like I said, it's important to just recognize it. Recognize right. it. When you do recognize it, do something about it. Right. Carve it out and make sure that you are doing something about it. So for instance, I'll give you an example. Tomorrow, we are going to the Hard Rock for a couple's massage, and it's just me and John. And it's for his birthday. You know, I wanna take him, and we go get a couple's massage, just me and him, just chill. Do nothing but just chill, right? And then afterwards, we have like a little, they have like a little spa area with a jacuzzi and stuff like that. And it's co-ed, so you can go out there and just hang out by the jacuzzi and just chill. And we need a moment to just be like, ah, that's what I need. And I know he needs it too. So that's why I set it up. But you see, I was cognizant about that. Always thinking, always planning, make sure you're prepared so you're never feeling like you're getting old. I don't wanna be old. Guys, I want to die young and beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> so make sure you guys are tuning to Cupid's Corner every Sunday here on ABC at 11 a.m. If you don't get to watch it live, you can always DVR it. And if you don't get to do that either, just make sure you guys go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and you can subscribe and hit the all notification bell Ding. so you can get all these great shows and a lot, lot more cool content from me, Sharice, and the whole Titan crew. So guys, that's another Cupid's Corner. From us to you, we love you guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll be back next Sunday with another Cupid's Corner at 11 a.m. here on ABC. I'll see you then.